I think you're high. Mm, is it because I'm black you think I'm high? You're black? <laughs> oh, <laughs> My name is Emily and I teach high school. Specifically, I teach new immigrants who are learning English. Have you ever smoked weed? Uh, yes, I have. I have smoked weed. I have also eaten it. Have you ever had students come in high to your class? Oh yes. I've had a fair few. Some of them more obvious than others, for sure. Do you care? I do. I don't, yeah, I don't think it's like a terrible thing. But I do think that it's important for them to understand there's a proper place and time and that school is generally not it. If I can't be high while I'm teaching, you can't be high while I'm teaching. Are you ready to guess from this lineup the people who's high? Sure. All right, let's see the first person. What's your name? Jacob. Cool. So what do you do for a living? Sort of in between employment right now. Okay. Um, mainly work in video production actually. Also a musician. Um, musician doesn't really like necessarily make me think stoner. It makes me think a little bit more of other drugs. But um, can I throw a little test in? <laughs> would you read? Just start right here for me. <clears throat> Nietzsche. So what was it? Nietzsche. I believe it's Nietzsche. Nietzsche. Mm -hmm. Intended Twilight of the Idols to serve as a short introduction to his philosophy. And as a result, it is the most synoptic of his. I'm ready. I feel like you're ready. I, I was I was ready pretty early. Go ahead and get up. I do not believe you are high. All right, so go ahead and stand back in the line. So this is usually what I do with my students, right? So they're op they've got the book and it's open and they're pretending to read, right? And then I usually come in and I say I say, oh, okay, so what do you think of the book? I like it. <laughs> That's what I do just to see. And usually they do smell very much like their like man perfume, but it's usually trying to cover up dirt and also sometimes pot. And it looks like you're married, student. Yes, ma'am. Cool. For how long have you been married? 20 years. Does your spouse smoke pot? Yes, she does. Oh, okay. Good to know. Okay. Fantastic. You think you're good at catching your students? Uh, I do. Do you get pleasure out of catching your students? Yes and no. There's something that makes me feel bad. It's like, I don't let them keep this secret. Because to be honest, if I see one of my students and I know that they're high, and I don't address it, I'm being remiss of my duties. I'm ready. All right, let's get you out I think you are high. Why do you think I'm high? Uh, your eyes. They're actually like, the lids are kind of like closed a little bit. You have a slightly slow response time. Also, knowing that your wife, who you've been married to for two decades is a smoker, tells me odds are really good that you guys are together for a reason. So that was, uh, that's my guess. Right, back in the line. What do you do for a living? I'm a stand-up comedian. Tell me a joke. No. <laughs> that was good. That was really funny. Thank you. You're just really good at this. Okay. Um, you're like a little DIY. I. <laughs> Can you uh, sing a nursery rhyme? No. <laughs> I don't know any either. <laughs> What's your name again? James. James. Nice Emily. to meet you. Yes. Oh my gosh, you remembered. Of course. Oh, nice. Can I hug you? Sure. Okay. Fantastic. <laughs> James. Okay. How long have you been smoking cigarettes? Uh, probably 60 years. Okay, I'm ready. I, I think he's not high. I think he's quite sober. Why do you think I'm sober? What, what led you to that? You're alive at night. That's when you do all of your comedy. So you're also gonna be pretty chill during the day. So that to me kind of overrides any kind of chill that I'm getting off of you. Um, and you don't smell like pot at all. You remembered my name. I think well, you're pretty- who wouldn't? Uh, <laughs> nobody right. else so funny. Anything, just don't make me read that fucking book. I know. <laughs> Hi. How you doing? I'm good, I'm Emily. Perry. Perry. I feel that like, the need to give you a hug as well. Can I do that? Oh yeah. Okay, 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 okay great. There we go. And, um... Let me just let you know, we need a very hard for you to smell the weed. Hey, I got a good sniffer. I was a little bit more curious as to what you did today. You um, woke up. I woke up. I paint for a living, so I just paint it. What do you paint? Uh, I do portraits. Okay, fantastic. Now, what did you do today? And can you talk to me backward? I'm here, painted, store, woke up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> do I remind you of a teacher you've ever had? The ones that caught me smoking weed. Really? Yeah. 
Okay. Did you only get caught once? Yeah. Okay, so it was only once that you got caught, so you learned your lesson. I mean, not really, but... <laughs> <laughs> Did you smoke before school or at school? Before. Before? Why? Before. It's easier. It makes I focus. It helps you focus more. <laughs> okay, I'm ready to guess if you are. I think you're high. Is it because I'm black you think I'm high? You're black? Uh, one, once again, the lids are kind of low. Um, I get the understanding from your profession and also your general like opinion toward it that you enjoy it. And if it's something that helps you focus, why would you not do that all the time? So I think you're high right now. Okay. Hi. Hello. My name's Emily. Dominique. Yeah, so okay. what do you do? I have just been a techie my whole entire life. I've been building websites since I was 10. Okay. Yeah, so okay. 18 years. Tell me, have you ever smoked in your life? Yes, I have. Oh, okay, yeah. great. Um, did you enjoy it when you did? Not the first time. I definitely did not enjoy the first time. Were you ever high at school? No, I didn't try cannabis until I was like 19 after high school. Why do you think a student would come to school high? What matters to them most are their friends. So a lot of peer pressure, you think? I don't even think pressure is influence. part of it. I think it's more influence. I think it's in, in access. My little sister started smoking a lot younger than I did. What should I say to her to still be that big brother that lets her know that I love and care about her, but I acknowledge it and I don't think that it's right? Hmm. I, I don't know. My first thought is be thankful that she's not having sex. I didn't think about that. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, uh, I think you are not high. Okay. I think Why do you think that? Once again, I feel like a lot of it's all about the eyes. Yeah. That and I think kind of generally from what you told me about your experiences with it, like okay. you're not like super into it. Yeah. It would lead me to believe that no, you are not currently high. Alrighty. When was the first time you smoked? Uh, weed? Yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. I think I probably tried it when I was like 13. Ooh, look at yeah. you. Okay. Well, who introduced you to that? Uh, well, I grew up in a weed smoking household, so my family, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I, 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 I already know. I already know. I think she's high. <laughs> Why do you think I'm high? You're actually the hardest one so far. Like you've probably had enough of it in your system from growing up with it that it doesn't affect you as strongly as it does some people. So the motor <laughs> functions are. But no, I think I think you're. Do I look like someone who smokes pot? Um, so, yes, a little bit. I do why? actually think. <laughs> why? You seem pretty chill. Too chill for? No, I think that like you're you're smiley and very happy and People like, gravitating. People are usually happy. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. How about this one? Alphabet? Backwards. I, okay, I, I can try, but I can't even say it like forwards. Z, X, Y. I have to like start from the front to get to the back. Uh -huh. Z, X, Y, W, U, V. I'm, I just, I'm, I'm ready. I wouldn't be able to do it. I think you are not high. Because I'm Asian. <laughs> <laughs> it is not. It's because when I asked you to do the alphabet thing, you actually thought about it and you actually had to like go through things in your head. And usually people are just like, man, fuck this. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> but I do think that um, you're not against it. Normally. Cool. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Oh, look at those socks. <laughs> <laughs> They've got pot leaves on them. They're hook socks. Have you ever. Um, yep, I'm gonna just stop you right there. Definitely. I was gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have like a snack that you that you go for? Each cookies. Time? What kind of cookies? Chocolate chip. Always? Always. I'm a snickerdoodle kind of girl. Actually, myself. wait, no, let me think about it. I was always anti like oatmeal raisin for a long time, mm -hmm. but those are like super moist. Oh, you grow up and you hit a point of maturity, you're like, okay, I understand why oatmeal cookies exist. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one more question. Do you remember my name? No. <laughs> Sarah? Okay. I'm terrible at names. That's not even, I'm sorry, it's not just you. No, it's okay. It's okay. I understand. Okay, we ready? Yeah. I think you are. Not high. You, not only were you able to hold the conversation with me, but at once or twice you actually jumped in over me. I like almost like, what's it called? Interrupting? And you, oh. <laughs> no, that's fine. But in my experience, when I'm talking to people who are high, usually I stop talking and then they go, what? what? <laughs> <laughs> but I like that you tried to fake me out with the socks. <laughs> Turn your hand if you're high. Oh, God. Turn around. 
Damn. You got half of them right. I, okay, so. Who surprises you the most? Who surprises me the most? Yeah. You surprise me a lot. No, I'm like... Oh my goodness. I, I, I think I was surprised because I don't know. You seem to be able to hold a conversation, you know, easily and and without any kind of weird interruption. And a lot of <laughs> a lot of the times when I have students who are really high, conversation is very hard. Did you learn anything today? I'd like to think that I can tell when my kids are high because I'd like to be able to help them, not so that I can get them in trouble. And so now I feel like if I don't know, I don't know how to help them. Uh, so yeah, I've got a little. Got a little learning to do, I think. <laughs>